What's up, Geminis? Thanks for joining me today. We are going to do a quick little love spread for you for the month of April 2019. Remember, these are general messages. So they might not resonate with all of you, and that's totally fine. I encourage you to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages. Uh, what else? Everything you need to know is in the comment box below. Like, share, subscribe if it resonates. This channel's new. I'm trying to get some momentum going. I'd appreciate your help. And uh, if you're into social media, check out Facebook and Instagram. Again, brand new. Get some likes and some subscribers there. That would be fantastic. So what can we get for Gemini, April 2019, and love? Gemini, coming off as the fool. Great energy. Your person, Knight of Swords. That is the Gemini card. Interesting. Between you is the King of Wands. Hell yeah. And advice, guidance, Five of Swords. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let's see what we can get for this. Ooh, there's music playing outside my apartment. I hope it's not uh, annoyingly loud for you guys there. So Gemini, you are starting anew in full energy. You are looking out into the world and you're, you're ready to jump at something new. There's not a lot that's holding you back. No mental baggage, no physical baggage, right? There's, yeah, you're, I think you're just, you're optimistic. You're looking at what the world has to offer here. Let's get a clarifier for the fool, please, for Gemini. It is air, I believe it's Aries energy, the fool. <clears throat> But I always notice that their their hand is literally out towards that cancer symbol, right? That 69 is the little crab. Maybe you have a cancer in your life that is near and dear to your heart, Gems. Maybe you're a cusper. Emperor. So clarifying the full energy is the emperor. So are you going after something stable? Are you going after something that is a position of high power, of having control? Um, this could just be finances and career going after, yeah, some, some power position. There's lots of confident energy tied to this. I think it's something maybe you've been thinking about for a long time and yeah, maybe you're finally making that decision to, to go off for it. Also the card of Aries. So you have definitely, definite Aries energy, fire energy here. <clears throat> now the emperor is someone who likes rules and order, um, yeah, so it, it is fire, there's passion there, there's drive, um, but yeah, they they set out to achieve what they want to achieve. Um, let's see what your person is, is feeling with this Knight of Swords energy. What can we get for Gemini's person? So Knights are typically movement forward, sometimes they're messages, but with air it's again... Um, Aries, um, I always do that. <laughs> I go to say Aquarius and I say Aries. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini are the air signs. Clarified by the Two of Cups. So that's really beautiful in a, in a love spread, right? Who you're giving your cup to, who you want to exchange cups with, love, cups being emotion, right? Um, who we care about, who we love. Looking directly at each other. It's a really beautiful card. <clears throat> so are you going after someone that you love are you going after to share a cup and this is like your your truth um with your your sort of truth here are you, is it a very certain decision you're going after the knight of swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck right nothing moves faster than our thoughts right when we, we make a decision we go <clears throat> now knight is a younger energy right it's not the king of swords it's not the queen of swords but you are coming up as the emperor so again, there's something about time here. He doesn't build his empire in a day, right? And so maybe you're going after that. That's a future energy. But the fact that you're kind of in that mode suggests to me that there is something very solid you want to build upon. And yeah, maybe you're going after fast to, to go after that person that, that you're thinking about. Or maybe your person's going after you, really. I, to, to be honest, the fool is facing that way. Your person is here. They're facing the other direction. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But your person, and you can flip the uh, flip the roles if that, if that suits your story better. This could be your energy, Gemini. <clears throat> Interesting, because this is the card of Gemini, it could be just self-love. Self-love, self-respect, investing your heart, your cup, your emotion in yourself to go after what it is that's driving you. Um, because what is driving you is the King of Wands, uh, 
like creative, passionate energy. Um, King of Wands is off looking towards this new beginning with the Emperor. <clears throat> I believe the King of Wands is Leo energy, if that means anything to you. So between you and your person, let's assume this is another person for now, but I'm just saying it could be yourself as well. Let's clarify the King of Wands. The Hermit, okay. It's so funny, this card has been coming up a lot, and Hermit is not a card I typically um, associate with with going after love and relationships, because the Hermit is a solo energy. He ventures off out into the world on his own, um, being guided by his, by his inner truth, his inner light, finding clarity from within, finding his passion from within. Um, Yeah, very interesting. So again, this could be kind of you, your person, quote unquote, could be you choosing to love yourself, choosing to invest love in your passions. Um, two things, well, actually three things. I was going to say both of them are holding these staffs, right? Very kind of like powerful wand energy. And even Aries has that too. Sorry for the light, the glare. I'm trying to fix it for you there. Um, but both the King of Wands and the Emperor are fire energy. If you're dealing with a fire sign, maybe. <clears throat> but if it is two different people, it's, it's almost like you both need to go after what is creatively fulfilling for you individually, though. I don't necessarily know if... I'm going to pull one more. I'm going to pull one, one more for what's between you guys. I don't know if these are two different people. Um... If I were to align them like this, they are technically kind of facing each other, but they're not. Yeah, they're just, there isn't a connection there. Um, so what is between you two? It could be literally someone chasing after their career and then someone just not looking to date. But I question that. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. One more. The lovers. <laughs> so again, your card, Gemini. Hey, this could go a few different ways. What's between you guys? So the card of the Hermit, nine, comes after eight, finding inner personal strength, right? And then after that is the Wheel of Fortune, closing out um, new cycles, um, going after, you know, or there's there's uh, this idea of fate, destiny, what's, what's driving you forward. So you're like right in between that. Are you going after love? Honestly, I, I really, I absolutely think this is just all your spread. I know that's so disappointing. I'm sorry, Geminis. Those people are kind of the same, right? They look very similar. It's like, oops, sorry, put this back. <clears throat> your knight is chasing after the two of cups. But again, I'm feeling like this love, this exchanging, it doesn't always have to be the person you love. It can be who who or what you love, what you're putting your emotions in. Gemini, Gemini, and this passion, and the the Virgo card, um, Hermit, really, I should say, is sort of it was what's swaying me even more. And the, the fact that this fool is off on his journey, he's not looking towards any of this love energy, any of these cups. I think it's investing in your own path. Um, and that being said, again, like somebody else had that card too. It may have been Leo or a similar thing where it's like, or no, I think it was Taurus. But it's like investing in yourself, choosing yourself over a love relationship, which is badass. Like that's such a beautiful energy to be in. I think so often we, we think that we need a person in our life to feel whole and to be complete, which is, yeah, such a... a yeah, it's like a negative lower vibration of how you should be viewing things. You have to have self-love, right, first and foremost. Um, okay, I won't get too preachy, sorry. <laughs> so your guidance is the Five of Swords. Um, so sometimes this can be um, like some sneaky energy in terms of like mind games. Sometimes it can just be a little bit of conflict. It's walking away but not feeling confident, feeling maybe like remorse or guilt or questioning if you should be walking away. So this popped out. So being clarified by the Seven of Wands. Um, so this is sometimes self-doubt about whether or not you actually have the upper ground, about whether whether or not you basically got this, right? And especially if you're setting off on this metaphorical new journey in this fool energy, 
Um, it's great that you don't have a lot of hang-ups, but every now and then, that you know, fool is such a young energy, of course this feeling of self-doubt is going to come up. Of course you're going to be questioning it. And this is actually very similar. It's like I'm moving forward, but I'm I'm looking back. Like, do, do I got this? Should I keep going? Um, and then with this, these metaphorical, like, six wands that are coming at this guy he only has one so he's thinking that he's outnumbered but it also speaks to the idea that like no like fate fate has your back like spirit god the universe whatever it is these obstacles are a test for you to overcome and ultimately prove to yourself um how powerful and strong you are um <clears throat> so because it is in your guidance section i'm thinking that <clears throat> yeah like it's a test of your faith to see if if you can if you can go on this journey, um, if you can leave behind, I think, what's familiar, what you already know. See how there's these two of swords in the background and they're crossed almost like the two of swords, like the decision. Can you confidently move away having made this decision to go after what you really want, right? Wands are fire and passion, right? Swords, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. Let's pull one more for that. <clears throat> Whoops, that one wanted to come out. <clears throat> was it death transformation this card hasn't come out yet I, I love i love that card it's so great yeah you're transforming you gemini um i'm not saying love is out of the question i mean i absolutely think on on this new path if you're following your own ambitions your own dreams choosing what you love light attracts light right you're bound to meet people who share similar interests and are going down a similar path so yeah so you know take hope don't don't give up that this wasn't your love reading in april but um because look what's bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. I can't make that up. That's beautiful. I love this depiction of the Ace of Cups. Ah, oh, love it. So yeah, new beginnings, new things that are emotionally fulfilling, that make us feel, make us feel happy. And even though there's like a whole bunch of fish swimming down below, it's like, you're going to find your people. You're going to find your tribe. You're going to find someone to exchange cups with. But right now, I'm just kind of sensing that you're choosing you. And again, like that is amazing energy. Love it, Gemini. I got Gemini in my chart, so I'm always rooting for my gems. <clears throat> All right, one romance angel card to go with this. I hope it's like self-love. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll be the opposite. We'll see. What can we get for Gemini for April, please? For a ro oh, you got two. Flew right out. Finances and career. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? With your emperor card. That's sort of what we were talking about. And then let's see, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, don't rush into anything if it doesn't feel right. And if you don't have time to invest in a relationship, I think that's also a mistake people tend to make. So yeah, wait, do do right by you, Gemini. Um, wait for the right time that, meet, that kind of meets your life and your standards and your schedule. The hermit is on his own schedule, right? <laughs> All right, and one Zodiac card, Libra. So this could be um, someone you're dealing with. It could be Libra in your chart. Um, yeah, you could just be seeking balance. You may have very Librian qualities. Did I make that up? Is Librian a word? It is now. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed it and want to see more, and I will catch you mid-month in April. Bye.